Today I'm going to show you how to set up ExpressVPN on a Dream Machine. The same applies if you've got a Dream Router, Dream Wall, Gateway Lite, Unify Express. All of them are capable of doing what I'm doing here today. The setup's really simple, it doesn't take very long at all, and you can customize it to set it to specific networks, all your traffic, or specific devices. So it really is quite flexible. If you haven't already signed up to ExpressVPN, there is a link in the comments below. It's an affiliate link, and I'd be really grateful if you did use that to sign up to the service. Okay, so before we go any further, let's cover why you might use a VPN. Using a VPN is all about privacy. If you were to Google what is my IP address, you will see your public IP address popping up. And that's the same IP address that you see on the dashboard of your unified dream machine. Your public IP address is given to you by your internet service provider. And everywhere you go on the internet, you leave a little trail behind because of that address. In the worst case scenario, your IP address could be used by hackers or cyber criminals. Admittedly, the chances of that are pretty slim, but it is pretty likely that companies are gonna be tracking your IP address to try and sell you goods and services, whether you want them or not. Additionally, your internet service provider will be collecting all of your internet data and selling it on to the highest bidder, and they are legally entitled to do this. Using a VPN stops all this. It basically hides your public IP address so that nobody knows where you're coming from. All they're gonna see is the IP address of your VPN provider, in this case, ExpressVPN, and I'll show you that shortly. ExpressVPN has a strict no logging policy, which means they're not gathering your data, they're not gonna sell it on, and your privacy is completely protected. Okay, so now on to the setup. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set up ExpressVPN on Unify and then we're just gonna test it. So just stick around for that afterwards. So the first thing we do is go to expressvpn.com and then we go to my account. And then where it says set up your devices, we're just gonna scroll down and go to more. And then we get to this page, you scroll down again and go to manual configuration. Right, and basically, as you can see here, it's gonna download an open VPN file. An open VPN is a type of VPN that Unify is able to use. So the first thing you'll notice here is your username and password. We're gonna need that in a minute, so don't close this window after we've done the download. Keep it around, because we'll need to input that information. And then you go down to your region, just select where you are. So I'm in London. And then that'll download the open VPN file, which we're gonna use in a second. So now I'll go to Unify. And I'm in my dashboard, and then we go down to settings. And then we're gonna to go to VPN. And the type of VPN one is VPN client, because we're gonna be a client for ExpressVPN. We've got two options here, WireGuard or OpenVPN. And as we just discussed, we're using OpenVPN. We just give that, select that, and then give this a name, ExpressVPN. And then all we're gonna do is upload the file that we just downloaded from ExpressVPN a minute ago. Okay, so once we've got the file in there, we are going to put in our username and password that we just saw on the ExpressVPN website, so I'll do that now. Okay, so once you put the username and password in, all we need to do is press Apply Changes. And now it's gonna connect, so it'll be connecting, and it'll take a few seconds, and then you'll get some uptime, bit of information here with server IP. Oh, there you go, happened already, really quick. And then this dot here goes green. So we've got our IP address, we've got our uptime, and it says connected. So ExpressVPN is now set up, it's working on the Dream Machine, but it's not actually doing anything at the moment because we haven't told it to do anything. So what we're gonna do next is go to routing, and this is where we can decide what is going to use ExpressVPN. So you could have this across all your devices on your whole network, or you can be more selective. So I'll show you how to do that now. So we're gonna use all traffic. We don't wanna do specific traffic, but you can do if you want. You can do domain names, IP addresses, or regions. But we're gonna say all traffic, and then basically we're gonna select what we want uh, ExpressVPN to go through. Oh, sorry, the other way around. Which devices do we want to go through ExpressVPN? So we've got all devices, and that'll be across all VLANs, so you can literally do that, and all your internet traffic on your whole network will go through ExpressVPN. Or you can do it by network. So if, for example, you wanted to create an ExpressVPN network and then associate a Wi-Fi to it, so just devices on that network went through ExpressVPN, you can. Or you can do it by individual device. So, for example, I might pick my Mac, so if I pick my Mac, that's Wi-Fi and Ethernet, that's what it's to, and I'll press save. And then the interface is the ExpressVPN we just created a second ago. So we'll select that, and then we can just give it a description again, ExpressVPN Mac, and then we're gonna add entry. 
and that will be working right now. So the Mac will be running through ExpressVPN. Okay, so that's all connected and I'm gonna to demonstrate to you in a minute that it is working. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some speed tests. So we're gonna do a speed test without the VPN. Then we're gonna do the uh, Unify Express VPN running on uh, OpenVPN. And then I'm gonna use the ExpressVPN app on my Mac. And we'll look at the differences between the performance. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm just gonna pause this. So I'm gonna to go to manage, select it, pause. And basically that'll just stop the, um, the rule from applying so that I am now off the ExpressVPN. Okay, so I've opened up Google on a new window and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in what is my IP, press enter. And then if you just scroll down a little bit, down the page, you'll see a little box that says, what's my IP? And then your public IP address will be there. And that is the one provided to you by your ISP. So at the moment, it's very much out there and it's visible to everyone. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the VPN and then we're gonna search again and see what difference it makes. Okay, so I've come back into the rules. I'm gonna select this, resume, done. Okay, and we'll go back to that window and search for IP again. Okay, so I've done the search again, uh, scroll down, and it's a different IP address. And this is the IP address of ExpressVPN. And I don't care who knows that because all they're gonna find out is that it belongs to ExpressVPN. So good luck trying to hack those guys. So we know the VPN is working, but now what I wanna do is I wanna do some speed test comparisons. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna pause this rule again. So if I say manage, select it and pause. Okay, so now it's paused, I'm gonna go and do a speed test. Okay, so because I've paused it, I can see my public IP address again and we're ready to do a speed test. I won't make you sit through this, I'll just show you the results. Okay, so my speed test is completed and I've got 923 and 853, so it's pretty quick. Right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reconnect the VPN and we're gonna speed test it again. So I'm back in here, I'm gonna select resume and done, and then we'll go to the speed test. Okay, so when I come into the speed test, the first thing I could see is the IP address is back to ExpressVPN's IP address, so that's good news. And now we're gonna do the speed test and I'll come back to you when the results are in. Okay, so the speed test is completed and it's significantly lower than my last speed test, so I've got 151 and 148. Obviously that's still quick, like there's not much you're gonna be doing where you're gonna be going anywhere near that speed, but it's still significantly slower. And the reason why it's slower is because we're using OpenVPN. So that's the limitation of OpenVPN. So we're not ever gonna get really, really quick speeds on that type of service. You can run devices through that with no problem, and you could run your whole network through that with no problem. But if you're wanting to keep those maximum speeds, then this might not be the best solution for you for that reason. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disconnect from the VPN through the Unify, and then I'm gonna use the OpenVPN app on my Mac and test the speed again. Okay, so I've opened up the ExpressVPN app and I'm going to connect to it. Okay, so I'm connected, and now what I'll do is I will just refresh this. And again, we get a slightly different message here. It says UK dedicated servers rather than the IP address of the ExpressVPN as we did previously. And I'm gonna speed test it and I'm expecting this to be a lot faster. I think it will still be slightly capped, but I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near as slow as the OpenVPN. Okay, so that's the speed test completed and I've got 610 and 566. So it's much quicker than the OpenVPN method, but it's still quite a bit slower than my actual internet. Okay, so now you've seen how to set up ExpressVPN on Unify. Whether or not this is a service for you is entirely your decision. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.